Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Hunter and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the processes of onboarding your V-Edge and C-Edge devices into your SD-WAN organization. But before we jump into that, I wanted to make a quick announcement and let you guys know that I've started a Discord server. You guys can all join. The link is in the description. You guys can ask me any questions related to the videos, related to IT in general, whatever you want to ask me. I'm going to be in there. I'm going to be active. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss one of my videos. Now, the onboarding process for the V-Edge and C-Edge devices are not crazy difficult. However, I'm going to warn you guys in advance that the CSR is very finicky sometimes. So if it gives us a bunch of problems today, we're just going to take it out of the topology and use a V-Edge device. They don't like being ran inside of software like GNS3 or even G. So you tend to have to wipe them, delete links, recreate links, delete the device. It's a pain. So let's go and get started with this onboarding process. We're going to go into one of our V-Edge devices here. I already have console sessions established to all of them, I believe. And we're going to log in. We're going to start with site two. Um, we're going to log in. This is just the default login, admin and admin. For some reason, I can never get that right the first time. Um, and set our initial password here. And we are going to do the basic configuration that we did on all of the controllers as well. So we'll do system and then we'll do host name. We'll do site two is the host name, v edge r1. We're then going to do system IP. 100, 222, site ID is 2, organization, HJSD WAN, V bond is 201113, and then the clock time zone. We're just doing America, New York for all these. It's going to get changed when we work on the templates later on, anyways. Um, and then VPN 0 should already be on gig 00, but just to check here, let's make sure it is. So we can go to VPN 0, interface GE00, give it an IP address. The IP is going to be 192.168.2.2 because the default gateway is 2.254. 2.2 slash 24, no shut, tunnel interface, encapsulation IPsec, allow service all, allow service netconf, allow service SHD. We'll back out of there and we'll give it a default route to that gateway, 192.168.2.254. Commit, and then we'll set up VPN 5.12 with Interface Ethernet 0, 10, 10, 10, 57. No shut. And then we'll give this an IP route to my management gateway as well. Do a commit and quit. And we can test reachability to our gateway first. We do. All right. Let's Now, the next important thing we need to reach is our enterprise CA. Okay. Now, the reason for this is because we have to pull the root certificate from the CA into our local device, all right? Um, this process isn't too crazy difficult. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to vshell and we're gonna type in SCP, so, you know, like secure file transfer, and we're gonna do root, which is the login for my enterprise CA at the address of my CA, and then colon, the file name, and then space, and then period. It's gonna ask me if I wanna accept the, finger, the key, yes. The password was eve, and it says that it copied it. So if I can do an ls here, I can see that I have root.pem set on this device now, which is our root certificate. We need to install that so that when it goes to authenticate with the vbond, they can, it can actually authenticate and then it can get its cert pushed by the vmanage. So we can exit out of vshell now and go back into the regular CLI. And then to actually install that root certificate, we need to type re request root cert chain install. And that this directory here that we're in whenever we're in vshell is slash home slash admin slash root dot pem is the name of the file. It's going to copy it, download it, update it. It's installed. Great. Okay. So now what we need to do is we actually can go over to the vManage and start to get the stuff we need to onboard this device. So we'll go ahead and minimize this for now. Go into our vManage here. We're going to go to uh, devices. Now I've already uploaded a WAN edge list. Okay. Now this is a file you're gonna have to get from your smart account on your controller profile whenever you actually add these devices in there. So for those of you guys who don't have a Cisco smart account, this is kind of where you're stuck. Um, it's an encrypted file. So, you know, it has to be downloaded from your Cisco smart account, uploaded here. It includes all this information. You just go to upload WAN edge list, you choose the file and upload it, okay? Um, but moving forward, we have a chassis number here and a token number. These are gonna come in handy. So we need to make sure we take note of those. So we're just going to choose the first VEdge Cloud device here on the list. And we're going to type request VEdge Cloud activate chassis number. 
And then the chassis number is where we're gonna paste in here. And then we'll do token, and we're gonna paste in this token number. Don't copy the token piece, just the number itself, all right? And then hit enter. And then if we go here, we should be able to start seeing that it's gonna actually start looking at the device. So it pulled its host name, it got its system IP. It should go through here and, and pull its site ID and the rest of the information from the device here shortly. So we're gonna wait for that process to, uh, to take effect here. So we can actually move on to the um, other devices now while this finishes up all of its processes here. So let's move on to site threes. So we'll do admin, admin. We're just gonna kind of fly through this because again, it's the same exact setup. And then we'll do comp T, system, host name, site three, V edge, R1. System IP was three at three. Site ID was three. Organization, and then the V-Bond, and then the clock time zone, America, New York. We can make those changes. It's gonna already be set to Ethernet zero, so we can go ahead and interface, or gigabit Ethernet zero. IP address, we know it's 192.168.3.3 slash 24. Tunnel interface, encapsulation IPsec, while service all. Wild service netconf, wild service shd. Back out of here, give that default route to our gateway. Commit VPN 512. I think this VPN 512 address is 58. Yep, it is. So interface Ethernet 0, 10, 10, 10, 58. And then we'll give it the default route. Um, commit and quit. And we can test reachability there. We do have it. So we can go again into vshell, do scp root at 201114 colon root.pem space period. Log in. It's going to pull the file. It did. Cool. Exit out of that. We're going to do request root cert install. And then we will do um, slash home slash admin slash root.pem. Cool. And then again, we can go into our vManage here. And as you guys can see, it's actually updated. So it is in sync now and it has the site ID. Has not been assigned a template yet. That's going to come in the next video, but it is in sync. So we can take the next cloud um, chassis number here. And we're going to do request the edge cloud activate chassis number. Paste that in space token. And then we're going to take the token, the next available token. So I think I copied nine alpha, right? Yeah, I did. Copy this. Paste it in. And then again, we should shortly see that site three is coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out site four and site one, um, just to, to alleviate the video time here. And then we'll move on to the CSR itself. All right, guys, so looking at our vManage here, we can see that we have all four of our vEdge devices up. They're all in sync. All the certificates are installed and validated. Now it's time to move on to the CSR. So the CSR is, is pretty similar um, to the vEdges, but then again, it has its differences. It's also pretty similar to Cisco CLI, so it's kind of like a mix between the two. I actually just timed out there. So the default login is the same as it's going to be on the vEdges, admin and admin. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Nice. I'm just going to set the default password or the new admin password here and you're going to enable and then we're going to go into config transaction. All right. And from here, we're going to set our host name to site five C edge R1. And then we can go into system. This is where we're going to do the system commands that we ran on the other vEdge devices. So we can do site ID five. We can do organization name, vbond, and we can actually exit after that. And then we can go into this clock time zone and we're gonna do GM, GMT eight. And we're going to commit the changes here. Sweet, all right, now we're going to interface gigabit ethernet one, which is the interface that's connected to the MPLS cloud. 
and we're gonna no shut it and we're gonna give it an IP address 192.168.5.5. Then we're gonna add a default route to our next top over there, which is 254. And again, it's kind of how it's similar to a regular Cisco OS uh, syntax. So we have the IP route added, and we're going to interface tunnel one. And a lot of this stuff, again, is case sensitive, just like the others. Um, so make sure you're actually typing it in properly. IP unnumbered, gigabit ethernet. And it doesn't let you tab this out for some reason, which is kind of annoying, but give me ethernet one and then tunnel source. Gigabit Ethernet 1. And we'll do tunnel mode SD WAN. Exits. And then we'll go into SD WAN. We'll go to interface. Gigabit Ethernet 1. We'll do tunnel interface. Encapsulation. IPsec. Allow service all. And this probably looks familiar to you guys. Allow service netconf. Allow service SHD. And then we'll do color default. And then we will commit or we'll go ahead and exit and then commit. All right. So now that we have all of our light configurations set here, we're going to actually need to copy the root certificate just as we did on the V edges to this device. Now it's a little bit different. We're going to do copy SCP colon slash slash the address of our root CA. And then we're going to do slash root dot pem. And then we're going to do flash colon. And then it's going to say source username is admin. No, we want it to be root. And then the destination file name, that's fine, root.pem. And then it's going to prompt us for the password for our enterprise CA, which is by default Eve. And it copied the file. So now if we do a um, show flash, let me go to the bottom here. We should see that we have the root.pem in our flash. So now we can actually install it. So we're going to do request platform software. SD WAN, and then we're going to do root cert chain install, and then we'll do flash boot flash colon root dot pem, and it's going to install the certificate just as it did on the VEDGE devices. I'll let that go through. Successfully installed. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get our. Um, CSR's chassis number and serial token number. So we'll come, we'll click on the CSR. We'll go to the right and click generate bootstrap configuration. Click OK. You can download this if you like. Again, I just copied the information from here. So I'm just going to copy the CSR chassis number. And then we're going to do request platform software SD WAN V Edge Cloud Activate chassis number paste in our chassis number and then we'll do token and then we'll do the token number here paste that in hit enter and we didn't test reachability yet but i'm assuming since we were able to actually scp it into the enterprise ca that we're good so we'll wait for it you can see that 1.1.1.1 is our v manage he's actually coming in he's authorized for netconf over ssh and we'll be able to see that this guy's going to actually start making some magic happen here. So we'll actually see it go into the CSR uh, phase here, CSR generated. And then eventually we should move into the uh, certificate installed step once it gets there. And again, this one actually kind of cool because it shows you the logs of what's happening um, as it comes in each time, which is you know pretty interesting to watch. And as you guys can see, it just popped up. We have certificate installed. So we now have our... V edges in our CSR onboarded in our vManage ready to get push configuration templates, which are going to be what's coming up in the next video. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are getting some value out of this content. Again, if you are, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I've been pretty active on there recently and join the Discord in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.